Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, my name is Dr. Ina Laksha and I'm here at the Hormone Rebalance Center. So I found uh, that, uh, you know, this week and past week, I've been kind of uh, found myself prescribing a lot more magnesium to patients. So I wanted to create a quick video about why would magnesium be beneficial and why are many of us deficient on it. So first of all, magnesium is actually one of my like top five supplements of all times because so many people feel so much better on it. Um, so magnesium is actually involved in about 300 different biochemical processes. So you can imagine that it has a really wide spectrum of, of you know, effects and impacts in the body. So some symptoms of magnesium deficiency or kind of low magnesium is if you get a lot of muscle cramps, uh, headaches, um, you know, and, and those are all the symptoms that magnesium would help for. So things like PMS, um, high blood pressure, constipation, um, pretty much anywhere where there's a smooth muscle that gets, uh, that, that becomes tight. So whether it's in the gut and the brain, um, in your uterus, in your other muscles, um, you know, after workouts, if you get a lot of muscle cramping, things like that, and you don't recover as well. And also things like anxiety, the heart muscle is actually one of the biggest um, muscles where magnesium is very, very important for. So um, a lot of patients feel really much better on magnesium because it helps cover a lot of different areas. So I like recommending it to my PMS, my menopause patients, those who are struggling with anxiety, those who can't sleep. Um, especially one of my favorites is actually magnesium glycinate. Um, it's a form of magnesium that has glycine attached to it and that glycine is really calming to the nervous system so that one is a great form for sleep. I recommend avoiding magnesium oxide because it has a very low absorption um, rate. So if you go for any form of magnesium, opt for either citrate or glycinate, bisglycinate, okay? Um, and of course it has to be very individualized. Uh, it's hard to overdose on magnesium because it's very much up to bowel tolerance. So pretty much if you take too much, you'll get loose stool and then you're, you're best cutting obviously back on the dose otherwise if you take one or two capsule and you don't notice much of a difference that means that your body may be quite more deficient than you thought so you can experiment taking a higher dose with all that being said i still recommend a proper assessment to make sure that the right type of magnesium is correct for you and to make sure that there's no other contraindications and making sure that you know you're given and taking the right dose and you know to even assess the deficiency so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, you know, to ask away. I'll be happy to, to recommend, you know, to, um, to answer any questions you may have. Okay. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.